a little while, but today is going to be one of the first days that we actually do some of, or maybe one of, Rocco's nails. So I've got him on a slip leash, I'm going to muzzle him, and depending on how comfortable he is with the Dremel, we might just use the clipper just to take a little bit of length off, because um, if you saw in the previous picture, his nails are very long, and it's probably due to the fact that he can be a real jerk when it comes to handling and or touching his feet and his nails. So I'm going to muzzle him up, put this right on him, snap it back behind his head. This is one of those mesh ones. Make sure that it's snug, that it can't come up over the top of your dog's head. If it can slide up over their ears, then it's not going to do you any good when they start to struggle and kind of put up a fight. So I've got that on him here, as you can see. So I'm going to take him and lay him down, just like I showed you in our uh, nail trimming video. So he's going to lay down right here. Come down, buddy. Good job. He's trying to lay down away from me, so he's fighting the pressure. All I'm going to do is put a little bit of pressure on this side where you see my hands until he gives in this direction. So he's got to give to my pressure, not the direction that he wants to, which is against where I want him to go. So I'm just going to use a little bit of leash pressure because he got up. Again, to lay back down. Good boy. He's still trying to flop that way. So what I might do is just turn him around, just for ease of this exercise, since he's already t tense and stressed. And I don't really care what side he lays down on, as long as he does lay down. Good boy. So you can see the tenseness in his body, that he's not okay with this. Good. Nice job, buddy. Good. So arm here to block him from getting up. Good boy, I'm just going to do some touching. We've been doing the touching exercises, but he's not a big fan of it. Good boy. Good job. You can still see him flinch and get tense. Good boy. Good. Really, when I touch those toes, his whole body just quivers the toenails. Good boy. Not hurting him or anything, but he really doesn't like it. So a lot of touching, a lot of, I'm not going to go away until you stop. Good. Now I'll do the other foot. Good. Laying them down in this position really helps to subdue them a little bit so they're a little bit more under your control. A lot of times when people go to do their dog's nails, if their dogs are sitting or laying down in front of them where they're actually on their feet, all it takes is for your dog to kind of flex this muscle, flex that muscle, and they're two feet away from you. So doing this, he can struggle quite a bit, but he's not going to go anywhere. He can't back up. He can't crawl forward. He could try to flip over, which little dogs are really good at. So he still hasn't quite calmed down about me touching this foot, so I'm going to keep doing it. That's better. That's one of the keys to doing this, is don't give up. You can see I'm trying to flip towards me. I'm not going to let him do it. There, good boy. Good job, buddy. So I feel like we've got a decent thing going with those front feet. Nope. Good boy. The back feet, I find dogs are generally less tense about. A lot of times people try to do their front feet so they come right towards their face, and it sets the dog off a little bit more. Their back feet, they're usually a little bit more comfortable about. Good boy. So I'm going to take my clippers and take, because his nails are so long, I'm going to take some length off first. Otherwise, I'd be dremeling for like five minutes. So I'm going to hold his foot just like I would if I were dremeling. And I'm just going to kind of touch, touch with the nail clippers. You can see already, even compared to just me touching with the uh, my hands, how much more tense his body's getting. He's trying to fight more. It's all part of the process. Good. Good boy. The actual clipping, I find a lot of dogs don't really mind. If you're quick, you don't make a big deal out of it, and you've done a bunch of desensitization stuff. A lot of times it's the anticipation of, I freak out when I get my nails done, or somebody's clipped my quick in the past and made a big deal about it. But the actual process of clip, 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 a lot of dogs don't have an issue with if it's really quick and they're desensitized to it. It's when they've practiced over and over and over again. So, drop your tool, 
and just hold on to the dog. Little struggle, a little bit of whining. Good boy. I'm gonna go right back to touching his toes though. Good. So this is kind of raw footage, raw material. This is his first session. It's not pretty, it's not perfect. Here's the struggling, right? It's really important when they struggle that they don't get up. I don't care if this is the only nail that I get done on him today. As long as he doesn't get up until I'm done with him. So lots of struggling. That's okay. Nothing that I'm doing is hurting him. It's all mental. Good boy. I know. Life is rough. Going right back to touching the toes. Good. 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 You know I gotta do it, buddy. I'm sorry. There. Good boy. There. Good. All right. I know. growling is what's made this stuff stop in the past. This is when they would probably stop the procedure if they were at the vet's office and probably consider sedating him. And at home where most owners would be like, I'm not messing with that. Good. 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 So this is much better. He's calmer. He's a little bit more relaxed. We'll probably have another freak out in a minute or two. It always comes in waves. But nothing that I'm doing, I'm nowhere near his quick. I'm not hurting him. This is all psychological for him. And a lot of people get themselves worked up like, oh, I've hit his quick before. That's why he's so bad. No, he's just been practicing being a little bit of a jerk. <laughs> I've hit my dogs quick before. It's not the end of the world. Good. So that I liked. That was nice and calm for me to go over the nails. I'll give him a minute. So the belly rub, I'm giving him kind of as a reward for doing such a good job with that foot, with the clippers. Good. When I see his body relax a little bit more, he's still pretty tense. When I get a little bit more relaxation, then we're gonna end it there. That's all I need to get from him. Just lay there, relax a little bit. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. It's not the end of the world, it doesn't hurt. It's all up here. It's all mental. Lots of years, lots of situations and scenarios of practicing that, can't do this, I'm gonna growl, I'm gonna bite, I'm gonna freak out and then getting that rewarded because we don't know how to work through this stuff. Good, so that's much more relaxed body position you can see. If I start to take my hand away from his head, it's still relaxed. So that I'm gonna reward by letting him get up. Now we're done. So that's the end of this session. It's not the last time we're gonna do this for sure. As you can see, he's nowhere near perfect. He may never be perfect, but he needs to be better about this. Good boy. Okay, Rocco. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Oh, shake it off. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs>